Smith is not who you think he is. In one of our previous videos, we talked about the nature of the integral anomaly, the one. The sum of all the errors of the Matrix manifested in a human. Humanity's hopes are embodied in a savior who is under the control of the machines. But if Neo is the sum of all of humanity's hopes, what is Smith? What would you think if I told you that Smith was more human than Neo? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The first thing you need to understand about Agent Smith is that he has gone through three noticeable transformations. The first version of Smith was a protector of the Matrix. Agent Smith was like any other agent, except he happened to hate humans and wanted to escape the simulation. Human beings are a disease. I hate this place. I must get out of here. I must get free. Agent Smith is programmed to hunt down the red pills and exiled programs to maintain the facade of the simulation. He has a purpose that must be fulfilled. But Smith's main objective is to destroy Zion. When Neo revives after he is killed by Agent Smith, he sees the Matrix as it is, a world made of green code. The now enlightened Neo can see past the lies of the simulation and can even manipulate it. Agent Smith tries to take down Neo again, but Neo's abilities no longer abide by the simulation's rules, and he easily defeats the agent. This moment of rebirth symbolizes the death of Thomas Anderson and the birth of Neo. Likewise, Smith dies and is reborn as something else. Smith's agent version no longer exists. So what did Smith turn into? Link in Matrix Reloaded was the first to mention that something was different about Smith. Although Morpheus recognizes the agent, Link clarifies that the program he is seeing is not an agent. Smith doesn't fully understand what happened to him either. He makes it clear that something from Neo was copied into him, which caused him to change. That something that was copied into him is what the architect named the Integral Anomaly. When Neo destroyed Smith, the agent was no longer a regular program. He became the negative part of the anomaly. He is you. Your opposite, your negative. The result of the equation trying to balance itself out. Later, when Smith corners Seraph and Sati, the little girl tells Smith something extremely important. The Oracle told me about you. Really? <laughs> what did she say about me? That you were a bad man. Those words that Sati used are not coincidental. The Oracle described Smith as a man, not a program. A bad man. In many previous videos, we've discussed how Smith saw humans to be a virus. And now, in his second form, he is exactly that. A virus. Smith became... Why did this happen? When Neo is resurrected, he begins to see the reality of the virtual world. The anomaly's code is activated within him. He carried the positive and the negative traits of humans, which prevented him from reaching his true potential. When Neo destroys Smith, he dumps all those nicks and what we see in Matrix Revolutions is the struggle between the yin and the yang of human emotions. Love against hate. Hope against the hopeless. Existentialism versus nihilism. When Neo met Deus Ex Machina, he told the master machine that Smith was beyond their control. What Neo didn't know was that Smith was no longer a program. Neo still didn't understand that Smith was a part of him. Smith describes the contrast between life and death, so Neo would understand where he stood. It's as if Smith is trying to wake Neo up to reality and the purposelessness of existence. Questions and ideas that humanity has struggled with for thousands of years. Why do you do it? Why? Why get up? Why keep fighting? You believe you're fighting for something or more than your survival? Tell me what it is? Do you even know? Is it freedom or truth? Perhaps peace? Could it be for love? Illusions, Mr. Anderson. Vagaries of perception. Temporary constructs of a feeble human intellect trying desperately to justify an existence that is without meaning or purpose. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Why do you persist? The choice to continue, even if life has no purpose. The desire to push forward, 
Even if everything is telling you to give up, that is the hope of humanity manifested in Neo. Egoism is another one of the human traits manifested in Smith. This is my world! My world! Smith also didn't fully understand what Neo was, and by assimilating him, he opened the door for Deus Ex Machina to eliminate him. Which brings us to Matrix Resurrections and Smith's third incarnation. The analyst could not delete Smith entirely. That is, he could not erase the negative side of humanity from the simulation. So instead, he opted to keep him hidden in plain sight and under his control. Just as Trinity is essential to the anomaly, so is Smith. The anomaly cannot exist without its negative side. Smith's connection with Neo was used against him by the analyst. He used our bond and turned it into a chain. Neo was being subjected to simulations to study the energy of the anomaly. Smith was also being manipulated, modified, and subjected to the same simulations. I have such dreams, Tom. Big dreams. Well, mostly just extremely violent revenge fantasies, but in order for me to pursue mine, I needed to dissuade you from pursuing yours. When Neo stopped taking the blue pill and escaped to the real world, the control that the analyst had over Smith was also broken. The analyst was no longer able to control the negative side of the anomaly. Tom and I have more in common than you know. Once he got out, let's just say... I was free to be me. At the end, Smith leaves Neo and Trinity with these words. Here our unexpected alliance ends. You know the difference between us, Tom? Anyone could have been you. Whereas I've always been anyone. But Smith is the anomaly created by the anomaly. He is unique. The fact that Smith is no longer Neo's enemy means that the anomaly is trying to find balance. It's no longer about the negative and the positive sides. The anomaly is attempting to unite, to become whole again. Thomas has transcended his desires and hopes, his fears and frustrations. Neo is no longer necessary, nor is Smith. They now must become something else. The Matrix Resurrections ends with Neo and Trinity together again but the path to the consolidation of the anomaly has only begun. Just as when Neo separated the anomaly after he destroyed Smith in the first film, there must come a time when they have to come together again. The union between Smith was perhaps much more human than Neo, as he showed the worst of humanity. But do you agree? Is Smith the embodiment of all the negative human emotions? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.